There are many new advancements in endoscopy over the past decade that we now perform routinely in our endoscopy unit. Now endoscopy is a flexible camera through the mouth or through the other end, which is the rectum and the colon. We are doing a lot more resections, which means removing growths and tumors that, used, that one used to need surgery for. So a lot of times today we're using a lot of different electric cautery or electric and heating knives or sharp objects that are very, very small. We're able to perform microsurgery, otherwise known as endoscopic submucosal dissection which is a fancy word for we carve a tumor out of the wall of either the stomach, the intestines, or the colon. We're able to remove superficial cancers, uh, benign growths that may be blocking or causing pain to a patient, and remove it out of the mouth, leaving the stomach or the colon or the intestines intact and saving them surgery and recuperation. We're also able to use similar techniques to alleviate certain problems that are called achalasia, otherwise known as a problem of the esophagus, which is something that helps, that alleviates difficulty swallowing. So people who have difficulty swallowing with a disease named achalasia, we're able to now tunnel through the very, very thin wall of the esophagus and perform a procedure called a poem, which is basically where we cut the muscle from the inside, which historically was done from the outside and through the chest, but it had side effects, adverse events, um, and a large recuperation, this is pretty much almost an outpatient procedure where you come for the procedure, you stay overnight, and you go home the next day swallowing like you did before the disease process or the issues started happening. And as you know from my other videos, we do a lot of endobariatrics, which are bariatric procedures through the mouth, where we reduce the gastric volume and help you lose weight and get uh, onto your journey of losing weight. So we're doing a lot of things through the mouth or through the rectum into the colon, minimally invasive ways to really help our patients solve problems in the least invasive way possible with the smallest recuperation and lowering risk to you, the patient. In summary, there are a lot of new advancements in gastroenterology, there, whether we're resecting new things or using new devices to help make the gastric cavity smaller. But it all starts with a visit in our clinic where we get to know you and understand the process, understand what we need to do. And then we approach it, as we said, minimally invasive with the slowest amount of risk and the shortest uh, recuperation period.